today with me, the director of the Hippocrates Institute. Um, thank you very much for It's uh, nice to be here with you, Dublin. That's lovely, thank you. And the first question I would like to ask is, uh, what are the effects of the meat and dairy to the human body? Well, number one, meat and dairy were never meant to be consumed by a human being. Uh, meat, fish, chicken, red meat, pork, etc., remains in the body for three days, leaves deposits behind saturated fat, and equally a lot of acids. It erodes the body and it erodes the immune system. Uh, number two, dairy is an unnatural uh, substance, and no way should an animal other than the little baby animal from the mother be consuming that. And this is why in Ireland you have massive amounts of arthritic conditions, osteo conditions, and cancer. So number one dietary cause of cancer happens to be dairy. Even as bad as meat is, dairy is even above it. Yeah. Um, what is the best source of protein then for humans? Well, of course, like every other wonderful creature who's strong and muscular and all the bodybuilders and Olympic athletes that we train on green leafy vegetables, sprouts, algaes, yes. these are really the sources. We're going to be showing you here tonight in Dublin That's that broccoli has double the amount of steak. Yes. Yes. That's really brilliant. And yeah. just the last question is, uh, what advice would you give to somebody who has been diagnosed with cancer and has been told that have to do a chemotherapy? What would be your advice? I think people have to think long and clear and get the real numbers and real statistics. Uh, there's a lot of fudging with the numbers and you've got to make a decision based upon common sense. All I know in my uh, career of over 40 years, I've watched tens of thousands of people bring about their own recovery from cancer. Thank you very much, Dr. Clem. I appreciate that. Thank, Thank you now.